Hello everybody and welcome to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. This is a new series, uh, actually a brand new series for me um, called Farmer John. I'm John and we are here in Navisgain um, and we are going to take over the farm that's in in this map and turn it into a zombie farm. Um, so I'm going to start playing now and uh, we'll talk more about our um, everything we have going on with the game as far as our settings and our plans. So let's go. Well, our main goal right now is to try and get to our farm as quickly as possible. I haven't been in Navisgain in a while, um, so we uh, might need to do a little bit of run around first. All right. So we're just going to run through these uh, early quests real quick <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to knock these out, we'll get through these and then I'll be right back with you. Oh, good lord, I can't find a damn uh, bird's nest. There we go. That took way too long. Okay, so we finished our initial quest. Now we need to get to the trader. That's a ways away. Um, oh, we have a nice little crawler dude. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Bye-bye. Uh, so this is definitely a new POI. Um, but I'm going to hold off on raiding that and anything similar to that early in-game. The reason why is I don't want to waste the loot that is in there because um, I have I don't have any respawn loot um, everything once I loot something that's it and I don't want to use the early game to uh, to raid those places I want to wait until my loot skills up that way I can try and get better loot out of places like that but that doesn't mean I can't loot houses um, smaller POIs that, that could have the potential to have decent loot. But right now my main goal is to get to the farm and I do have a map that I can look at. I'd rather not. I th I think um, I'm pretty far north from what it looks like. Yeah. So I think I'm close. I think I'm close to the to the farm. I just need to do a little bit more exploring. I think once I find one of the major towns, I'll have an idea. All right. So I don't recognize that. I do recognize this and the bridge, though. So, of course it's possible that they've done a lot of changes to the map and I just don't know what they've done, what they've done. Uh, we also have zombies set to jog, jog all the time during the day. Um, and then they do their normal sprinting at night. Okay, so this is a new store. Savage Country. Hello, miss. Oh, you bitch. Oh. 
Bye bye. Alright, so I think in Alpha 18 there was a store next to a bridge and the farm was just north of that. So let's cross our fingers, maybe we'll get lucky. We're just going to peek over this hill and take a look. If we see snow, we know we've gone too far. Yep, there's the snow right there. Alright, so... Yep, this isn't it. It's a lot more flat at the... Ah, oh shit. At the farm. And this definitely is not that. I think I might be going the wrong way. Oh well. Alright, so our settings for this game. We have the zombie horde set for every three days with a two day range on top of that. So that means that I potentially could have, well I guess I won't, could have had a horde night today, but since my uh, time up there is not red, that means I don't have a horde night tonight. Um, but it does mean that there's basically potentially a horde night any night. Um, I want it to be super random and I think we, we achieved that with, with that setting. Later in game, we might switch it to just every night and go that way. Okay, glue. Yay. Alright, so I think I might be a little bit too far north. So we're going to go south a little bit. What? <laughs> Alright, so this is... You know what? I wonder... Okay. This is the culprit. If you hear purring or meowing, it's this one. This is Alexa, and she makes noise. Okay, you're going to have to not be in the way. <laughs> okay, so I think I am... So I can't go any further on the map to the west, and the farm is more central eastern side of the map. I believe this is my main road that will take me to, I think it's Parishton, which I believe is somewhere right here, the town. And from there I know where the farm is. Um, so I might actually go ahead and get this done I think there's a lake big lake here so let's try and cross underneath that to the south and um, we'll do that and we'll also one of the big things about um, the game that I really never took advantage of is the trader quests um, so that's something we're going to really kind of dive into with this, uh, this, ah, shit, play type. Um, okay, so the series is Farmer John. We're creating a zombie farm. So in this world I'm a farmer so we're gonna put points into 
uh, skills that reflect that. Uh, so we're going to do Master Chef Heavy. We're going to do Living Off the Land Heavy. And we're just going to... The farm is going to look very different when we're done with it. It's going to look like a proper farm. Um, those are the two main ones. We're also going to throw points into the hunting. So the huntsman. And just probably the normal stuff that we, you know, would would do in a normal game. Um, stamina, health, that kind of stuff. Sexual Tyrannosaurus is, is a big one, but early game, since we're not going to be getting any weapons, we're going to do straight Pummel Pete. That way we can fuck up some zombies just with a, a club. Um, so let's go ahead and we're just going to throw everything into that right now. And let's get on our way. Um, I think I went over all the settings. No, we didn't. So we talked about the day range. Uh, blood moon count I have it set to max. That's 64 zombies. Uh, we do have an airdrop every 7 days. They won't be marked on the map, so if I'm not around to see it, then I'm shit out of luck. Uh, there's no loot respawn. I think I mentioned that already. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to do some running. Um... And just so we're all we're all clear and on the same page, this is my first YouTube series, and I don't really have any video editing experience, so this is all new to me. Um, I'm going to try my best, and it's definitely going to be a learning process for for me while I go through this. Um, same thing with Photoshop. So um, thumbnails will be different, probably from episode one to. Uh, episode 10 and so on and so on. Um, I'm going to try and include some decent audio, uh, like sound effects and music. Um, anything that I use, I'll be putting links in the description. I'll try to make sure I mention what I use, you know, while we're here in game. Um, but if I don't happen to, I definitely put links to it. Um, So yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from as far as video editing. We'll be using the uh, Adobe video editor. So yeah, hopefully it won't look like shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here's some some video editing that I just learned. first trader so I um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep my uh, camera up there in the corner I don't know if I really want that in the series or not uh, we're gonna do it for the first episode see how I like it it might be different later on I might take it out for uh, horde nights just kind of depends how I'm feeling if you guys hate seeing my face I'll take it out. Um, that'll probably be the case. Nobody likes my face, man. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to loot anything that's in here. I doubt any of this stuff actually works. But it's all stuff that we could potentially sell. Oh, that's fucking great. Hell yeah. Oh, and just... I mean, you should know by now, but I will be using some language. 
not really on purpose it just kind of happens so just please be aware of that if you're offended by that kind of language then fuck you get out of here if not welcome also um, I do have a twitch channel same name John G Wentworth uh, so please go check that out I do stream a wide variety of games right now it's mostly seven days to die uh, mostly because the, the new alpha being out um, so on that channel I have uh, I think I'm, we're doing two games right now one is a solo game which is come back now. just me and it's uh, complete insane nightmare mode so all zombies are on nightmare uh, setting at all times pretty crazy uh, but also I've got just the temporary I look forward to um, also I do I'm doing a co-op series or you know run through with a couple buddies and with that one we have it randomized like this so we don't know when the Horror Night is we also don't get a warning until about 1900 um, so normally on a horde night or horde day your time up there under the compass will turn red yeah, the way we play it it doesn't so around 1900 2000 you'll see lightning and and hear thunder um, and that's your only only warning that there's gonna be a horde night um, it's pretty crazy. We're doing a lot of base building. Uh, so please go check that out. Again, it's John G. Wentworth. I'll put a link in the description, in the, uh, description for that. Lady, close your legs. Okay, so we're here. Let's... I think my farm is somewhere over here so let's just keep on trekking and we'll kill some zombies along the way I'm, I kind of hope I hope that traitor isn't my closest one I can't remember where all the traitors are in Nav's game but we'll we'll figure it out I would rather not rely on the trader to survive um, and that means across the board um, I want to be uh, deep into crafting my own ammo armor all that kind of stuff until we get to the point where we're picking up a lot of stuff uh, from loot okay let's go Aldo's cabinet, pawn shop, bakery, and the bear's den. The bear den. That should have two bears in the top floor, so fuck that. Uh, we'll definitely come back when we have better weapons to get the meat from those bears as long as they're not zombie bears level 2 stone shovel <laughs> so if you're new to the game um, I'm so I'm gonna assume that a lot of people who watch this are familiar familiar with the game either through playing or from watching other youtubers uh, play the game um, so early game stage as far as I can tell 
we're only going to be looting stuff like this. Stone tools, stone weapons, wooden weapons. Um, no guns except for the blunderbuss. Which, from what I've seen, see, <laughs> three stone shovels in a row. Fuck me. So that's kind of why earlier I said we're not going to loot anything that looks important. Because that's kind of what we're going to expect early game. I really want to get in there, but again, we're just going to have to to do our thing uh, without looting for a little while. Let me see. Still no points. That's right. So, whoa. No. These fuckers are loud. Fucking loud as shit, asshole. Alright, another group of buildings here. Kitty cat. Okay, so there's another bridge there. This is nice, because I think this is actually pretty close to... I think we're looking to be right here. The farm. So these houses might be like the first place we come to start looting. Keep your bitch ass down. So level three uh, wooden clubs, that's pretty good. Hopefully we can pick up some mods for it. The burning mod is always fun. Does a little bit of extra damage. And lights these suckers on fire. Alright, so I gotta be in, I gotta be getting close. Right? Okay. It's a very straight road coming up. Yep, I think that's it right there. That's the sign for it. This is the road that will take us. There's the barn. Hell yeah. Fucking hell. I see one more fucking stone shovel. Another place that I want to raid because of the tools. But. I have a feeling I would get a ton more <laughs> stone shovels. And I'm not about that life. And get that piece of shit out of the road. We're gonna clean this place up. All this corn's coming down. I'm gonna dig out all of this land and put farm plots. these things in all of this it's gonna look like a proper farm not this piss poor effort that this asshole farmer tried terrible farmer terrible again I don't remember enough about Nava's game to be able to to tell where the next trader is. I might look at the map, the map that I have, just to have that information, but I kind of would rather 
play it as this, as if uh, I've never been here before. That's always a little bit more fun, I think. So let's go ahead and put and then go ahead and make ourselves a storage nope. Gotta spell it right. Okay, let's get to exploring. I guess we're going in through the basement. Doesn't look right, sir. <laughs> Just terrible. One of the benefits of going down the farming and cooking tree is eventually we'll be able to make some really good food um, to the point where. We won't really have to worry about food anymore. I mean, being the farmer is going to help a lot with that. We're not going to have to... We're not going to run out of anything at that point. Once we get all the seeds that we need. Alright, level 2. Um, let's do Lucky Looter. Give ourselves a chance to maybe pick up a blunderbuss right now. Once we get up to the main loot up here. Stalker, archery, and all see common bows do 10% damage at night. Cool. Always pick up chairs and potted plants. It's all free wood and clay. Same thing with the working or the office chairs. Okay, hopefully it's not eh, it's not too dark. One thing I have noticed is when it gets to um, overnight, you will notice that it doesn't get nearly as dark as it used to. There may be a setting that I can adjust to uh, get it a little darker, but for right now, since we don't have a headlamp, We'll uh, we'll deal with it being just a little bit more light out and easier for everybody to see. I don't know what that was that just came in. It sounded like it was from downstairs. Oh, and it was Fetty. Bats. Back in the day, baseball bats were all the rage, but they must have had weaker zombies. It's time to upgrade your craft steel clubs. Okay. Uh, 
Um, scrap leg armor. Earlier I picked up... Oh, I guess that wasn't that. Oh, I picked up boots. So I got scrap boots and scrap leg armor. Oh, can wear that. Oh, hello. Yep, so I mean, when we do this, we can do this and, you know, block them in. Um, again, it's an early game strategy that I tend to use just so I don't, don't get fucked up by early game zombies. Stamina back up, and then we'll take him out. All right, and here's our loot. Okay, so let's get into this. There's also a safe downstairs. We'll try and unlock it with our one lock key. And crap. That's a good early find. <laughs> uh, scrap that. Yay, more paper. Probably another thing I'll do overnight is clear all this corn. I'll try and clear this before it gets to 2200. Because then they start running. Where are you going, sir? ammo. I didn't level up, did I? No. There we go, blunderbuss. More ammo. We can wear this. This will be good for when we dig out our farm. Definitely don't need that. <laughs> okay, that's that's some pretty good stuff there. Get some light going. All this stuff I'm gonna just destroy. Get it out of the way. So we have some room to uh, start putting our own stuff down. And then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye. So thanks for watching the first episode of Farmer John. I think this was a pretty successful episode. We spawned in over here. 
made our way, did our trader um, discovery, and then got to our farm. So this is where we're going to be most of our game. Um, all this is going to be dug up and turned into farm plots, and, and then we'll actually start working on growing a real farm. Um, the barn is going to be our horde base. So that's another thing that we need to work on is upgrading and reinforcing that. Um, so that would be another item on the list that we need to start working on. We're also going to probably probably head into town and start looting some buildings there. Um, I think that's probably our a good first step after we get done reinforcing this house and the barn so we're all set up for when the horde comes. Um, but yeah, all right, well, thanks again for watching. Um, if you want to like or subscribe to the channel so you can uh, catch all these episodes when they come out. Um, also, please, um, if you wouldn't mind, go check out the Twitch channel, John G. Wentworth. That'll be in the description. Um, all right. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.